One of the things that um, was recognized is the need to, to map our ecosystem. And this was also alluded to by our chief guest on Monday. Um, in terms of having a database, yes, we see the startups here, they will come and showcase, they will be at the county, but nobody can really pinpoint who they are, you know, in, in one central repository. So we do need to map our, our ecosystem players, starting with the startups, um, academia, regulators, and, and, and really have that data to inform decisions. Um, the other thing that we, we was acknowledged during the Startup Summit, and, and again was, was even said during the keynotes, is that um, the youth and innovation have become the currency of economic development. What does that mean? We have a very innovative youth, and there's a lot of support to, you know, helping them with the innovations. But we equally need to have a culture of not only starting, but of growing the businesses. So how do we take all the businesses that we see, for example, at the exhibition to market? So, you know, there's more work in terms of making sure that we are actually able to establish, you know, sustainable businesses from all, all these in, in innovations that we see and that they can then be impactful uh, in society. Um, in terms of inclusivity uh, of the innovation agenda, I think we had a lot of conversations and we discovered how innovations have even gone to areas where we would have thought that nobody wants you know, to go because of um, no commercial potential. potential. So we, had, we saw, you know, for example, programs like WFP who have prioritized um, the innovation agenda in the ASEL regions. Those are the arid and semi-arid um, regions in Kenya. And setting up innovation hubs there with the purpose of you know, accelerating social innovation. And, and really here acknowledging that innovation comes from a point of necessity as opposed to you know, excess. Um, and these are really the innovations that we want to, you know, to, to have impacting our society. Uh, funding conversations are also always a key and integral role of, you know, startups and, and the Startup Kenya agenda. Uh, and for us, we are not only looking at access to funding as is normally, you know, um, is, is normally uh, recorded as a challenge. We were looking at how do we unlock, how do we unlock existing funding, you know, the innovative forms of funding. And, and here we recognized, you know, the diaspora as a key source of funding for startups. Uh, the, we know the diaspora inflows into the country continuously increased. And even during COVID, there was a significant increase. How do we then structure a framework for investing into startups? There is an opportunity there. Um, we also had a lot of um, interesting conversations about regulation, policy regulation for startups. Uh, and we noted that we have a bill, an upcoming bill, which has been approved by Senate and will be moving to, to Parliament. Uh, we had similar conversations with South Africa and Nigeria, who are at the same stage uh, in terms of approval of their bill. And we noted that our bills do cover the same areas. However, there was a caution or a fear from startups that, you know, introduction of regulation would sort of create an additional burden in terms of cost and of a regulation. But, you know, that fear was allayed by, you know, our speakers who are able to talk about the content of the bill in terms of um, providing incentives, providing the coordinated framework, you know, to support startups, uh, as well as unlocking, unlocking funding and de-risking funding. So I think that came, you know, with a lot of appreciation and again, um, informing the startups what that bill seeks to do. Um, in terms of our success stories, and we have very many success stories, we had founders and come, you know, for fireside chats and, you know, really talking about their stories and lending, you know, their lessons to the upcoming innovators. I think we need to encourage that culture more, uh, telling our own stories and being able to use them as a way of, you know, you know, building the capacity of the upcoming innovate, innovators was also um, a key thing. On the subnational, you know, um, innovation scene, we had great examples from Makueni County and um, Laikipia County. Thank you. Yeah, so we had great examples from Makueni and Laikipia County. Uh, Makueni County has a fully fledged innovation hub supported by the county. They also talked about um, a fund that they have supporting innovation. Um, 
and they offer a creative space where innovators are able to come and you know to innovate uh, one of the gaps they mentioned was that how do how do they get more partnerships to get these innovations to the market? And that's why for us, we are very keen to see a lot more support in um, getting these in innovations to the market. On the skills, skills is always a topical issue and it's an area that we need to continuously um, work on. Um, we, we recognize that there is a need for the established startups um, to be able to collaborate with institutions of higher learning uh, in terms of unlocking um, untapped skills and talents for the young innovators. So if we can use the more established startups and use um, the enabler through the institutions of higher learning, that can be you know, the coordinating framework to, you know, to build the skills of the young innovators. Um, uh, one of the other proposals that came through is a recommendation to have uh, an academy that equips innovators with technological and entrepreneurship skills. Uh, and I'm sure that is something that will be comprehensively covered by the summary on the, com on the commercialization summit, uh, and we will have some answers through there. So all in all, I think it was a very engaging summit. Um, look, the outlook or the next steps are really to create a, a roadmap for the Startup Kenya agenda. And we look forward to working with all the partners within the ecosystem, using an ecosystem approach um, to support startups um, and, and, and be able to talk about you know, the successful enterprises that we've launched to market and how they do contribute to our development goals as a country. Mm -hmm.